The occasion for my address today refers to the past six months period presented in the report of the Office of the High Representative, with special emphasis on several very important facts that shape political events in Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as the activities of the High Representative. At the very beginning of my address, I would like to remind you that the legitimate goal of the General Framework Agreement for Peace in Bosnia and Herzegovina, or Dayton Peace Agreement, was the establishment of the peace which was certainly achieved in the previous 28 years. After the establishment of peace, Bosnia and Herzegovina entered the process of its transition towards a modern democratic state which is the next goal and uh, which full attention should be given. Unfortunately, after 28 years of the signing of the Dayton Peace Agreement, Bosnia and Herzegovina still has not completed the entire path of its democratic transition and has remained trapped in the vortex of ethnically based policies and various ethnically projected goals. The Dayton Peace Agreement itself has become a tool for various geopolitical contests between different players on the geopolitical scene. In this geopolitical political context, we can also notice a common denominator that is the same for different geopolitical actors, and it refers to the fact that Bosnia and Herzegovina is not actually allowed to transition to the modern democratic state, and therefore it remains stuck in ethnic policies which are aimed to complete collapse of political and social system in the country. In fact, ethnic politics and ethnic groups are used to create tension and destabilization in order to achieve short-term and long-term geopolitical goals more easily. I consider such geopolitical behavior towards Bosnia and Herzegovina absolutely unacceptable. Through such a prism, we look at this and all next reports of the Office of High Representative. The fact about different geopolitical games are being played in Bosnia and Herzegovina, we can simply show through efforts of various actors and political groups to challenge the legitimacy of High Representative to trying to create space for the implementation of planned geopolitical interests. Regardless of the fact that there are political debates in Bosnia and Herzegovina about whether High Representative is legitimate or whether he was elected in accordance with the appropriate procedure, I would like to clearly point out that I support the existence of the Office of High Representative until the realization of the so-called 5 plus 2 conditions creates an environment of the closure of the OIHR. I do not want to participate in any unnecessary discussion about whether the High Representative is legitimate or not, because Bosnia and Herzegovina has no role in appointment of high representatives, and only those who appoint high representatives can answer that question. That question. Even high representative himself cannot give an interpretation about his own appointment because he does not appoint himself. As for specific, the specific report of High Representative, it is necessary to highlight several very important elements which High Representative himself did not mention in his report or did not present in an appropriate way. Firstly, current High Representative is the first to face mass protests by the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina who protest on two occasions in front of High Representative Office, express, expressing their dissatisfaction with his behavior and announced decision. 
the large number of both gathering of citizens in which no political parties participated tell us that citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina are aware of all important issues in our country, but also that they are aware and dissatisfied with some bad decisions made by the current High Representative. I believe that High Representative will appreciate and respect this in his future work, especially in the field of making future decisions. Secondly, there are some decisions of High Representative which are good and protect the constitutional order in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but unfortunately, that decision were insufficient and vogue because of vogueness of those decisions of high representative political tension grow as well as a force to further ethnically divide Bosnia and Herzegovina until its complete dissolution. It is clear that high representative deals relatively poorly with such political force. It is necessary to emphasize there is a great disproportion between the views presented in his report in relation to what High Representative is really doing to overcome these problems. His diagnosis of the problem which concern behavior of actors from Republic of Serbia, entity in which they talk about an alleged peaceful separation, peaceful dissolution, or entity competencies in certainly correct, but his diagnosis is not followed by adequate activities. Whether this behavior of high representative is caused by lack of his capacities or because of lack of support from the international community is a question that deserves clear and precise answer. The citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina expect such an answer, especially in the new geopolitical context. Also, I would like to point out that I will appreciate every effort of high representative that when blockages arise in the functioning of state institution, he tries to solve occurred blockage through his role as a mediator. This is certainly his obligation by Annex 10 of Dayton Peace Agreement. When difficulties arise in the functioning of the state government due to different political interests of two entities, only then high representative can appear in his role of mediator. However, the actions of the current high representative are usually not inside his role of mediator as required by Annex 10 of the Dayton Peace Agreement, but rather towards one entity, the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, it is set as proactive, while towards the entity Republic Srpska, is it set as reactive. Such different actions, connected with different treatment of difficulties in the functioning of authorities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, puts High representative, very compromising position because it creates a possible sense of his political insecurity and bias. Thirdly, we are particularly concerned by the statement of the Prime Minister of neighboring country that they lobbied to the High Representative to impose such changes to the entity constitution and election law of Bosnia and Herzegovina which correspond to the political interest of the neighboring country, not Bosnia and Herzegovina, and to the determinant of the sovereignty of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here, of course, I'm referring to the Prime Minister of the government of the neighboring country of Croatia. This can be a significant evidence and indicator of his bias of high representative, which then opens up many other questions. One of, of these questions relates to the fact that the creation of ethically pure territories in Bosnia and Herzegovina is under the de facto political control of neighboring countries. 
which high representative did through the imposed model of elections for the upper house of legislative body in entity federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Such an effort is certainly not good or appropriate, appropriate practice. Fourthly, I would like to highlight one sentence from the opinion of European Commission on Bosnia and Herzegovina application for membership in the European Union, which states that election for the House of Peoples based on ethnicity and place of residence is not in accordance with European standards. It was exactly high representative who based the elections for the entity House of People on ethnicity and place of residence giving Living human beings, an ethnic coefficient or different mathematical value, which is an expression of extreme discrimination and in complete contradiction by the key priorities that the European Union puts to Bosnia and Herzegovina as an obligation. With this, High Representative slowed down the progress of Bosnia and Herzegovina within European integration. Whether such a thing is an expression of his political will, eventual coincidence, ignorance, or whether he is possibly implementing the policies of part of the international community or neighboring country remains an open question. This is especially evident when we look at the extent to which the judgments of the European Court of Human Rights are being avoided since those judgments set up obligation to Bosnia and Herzegovina to change the entire political paradigm for its alignment with democratic standards. There are two groups of judgments of the European Court of Human Rights. The first is so-called Sejdi and other related cases, group which calls for the protection of passive voting rights. The second is the Kovacevic case, case which calls for the protection of active voting rights and a rejection of the ethnic concept in Bosnia and Herzegovina through the elimination of all those elements that undermine democracy in order to ensure equality of all citizens in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The judgment of European Court in the Kovacevic case opened up space for necessary transition towards a normal democratic state harmonized with European standards and democratic values. For this reason, I consider certain comments of some domestic political factors on Kovacevic's judgment as completely inappropriate, especially since the efforts of domestic and international political actors are obviously aimed at main maintaining the ethnic concept and ethnic division in Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is the same political ambition of the neighboring countries. As fifth, it is not possible to avoid the fact that High Representative showed his bias by allowing one political group to form a new government in Bosnia and Herzegovina contrary to election results by suspending the entity constitution for 24 hours. This was an unprecedented attack on the rule of law in Bosnia and Herzegovina because the suspension of any constitution cannot have its own legitimate goal. These are also, also not good practices because they portray high representative as biased person, which, due the work he performs, he should never be. Sixth, I want to express great concern about the efforts of high representative to solve the issue of state property in a controversial way, implying the need to distribute state property, his ideas about state property distribution deviate from good practices in Bosnia and Herzegovina because property is not territory, nor is territory property, 
so no one has the right to treat in that way. Finally, I would like to point out again that I strongly support the existence of Office of High Representative until so-called 5 plus 2 conditions are met and I call on the international community to cooperate in the realization of these conditions. We are fully aware that 5 plus 2 conditions are made very wide and unclear and their fulfillment is difficult to show statistically. But that conditions are very important and make Bosnia and Herzegovina a normal democratic state which must be able to manage all internal processes. For these reasons, I am asking for support of the international community to finally establish full democracy in Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as full rule of law and full protection of individual human and civil rights. On the path, the main priority should be the implementation of all judgment of European Court of Human Rights. It is the only way we can make a significant step towards stabilization in Bosnia and Herzegovina as well, the stabilization of the entire region of Western Balkans, and thus respond to existing geopolitical challenges. Everything else represents a path to the possible uncontrolled situation, which will be very difficult to manage and for which it is difficult to assess how badly they could end. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your time and patience. Thank you.